Octopus Intelligent has just become even better, especially for solar and battery customers. Now, if you are a solar and battery customer, Octopus reckon you'll make £150 extra a year with this change. And I think if you stick around to the end of the video using some tips I've got, you'll make even more than £150. And I'm going to tell you how I might have actually made this actually happen for intelligent customers. And if you're a Go customer and you're feeling a bit upset, I'm going to explain why it won't apply to Go. I've been on a roll this year with Octopus Energy Suggestions. I tweeted Greg Jackson, the CEO of Octopus, to say it was appalling. There was no business time of use tariffs. And Greg, a couple of days later, responded, yes, he agrees. And here's a time of use tariff for businesses. It, that is an outstanding speed for a company to work at. Now, Octopus Energy have yet again impressed me. I tweeted them again to say it's appalling that customers are getting 5p seg from Octopus Energy and they could have moved to other providers for more outgoing and that really intelligent Go customers should be receiving a higher seg tariff. I got an internal kind of nod that something was going to be looked at and be worked on and a month later, Octopus Intelligent sees that rate jump to 15p outgoing if you go on Octopus Outgoing or you can choose to go on Octopus Agile which sees the rates going up and down uh, for outgoing all the time and have the Intelligent as an import tariff. Now it doesn't apply to Go and I will explain why that is. Now I wasn't sure how Octopus were going to do this, I thought maybe they might pay the current rate of 5p until you've exported more than you imported and then they pay you the 15p. So for Octopus to come straight out the gate and say, no, no, we're going to give you 15p for all export straight out the gate. That is absolutely blown me away. This means that if you're a battery and solar customer, you can play the system and actually earn more than £150 that Octopus are claiming. And you do this by filling your battery at night at 7.5p, filling your EV at night during the intelligent hours whenever the car schedules, and then allowing the solar to fully export whenever it's generating. Now, if you can control the import and export of your battery and basically charge it at full and then export the entire load without using any house, you know, using it to support the house demand, some batteries do support this, then you might be better on the agile outgoing and then you can help balance the grid better during low, uh, you know, you can low CO2 charge it and when it's high CO2 you can discharge and you'll be paid for the advantage of this between the two rates. Now, even if you're taking losses in account, you're going to be earning on outgoing 7.5p extra over what you're charging off peak. So even if the losses were 50%, you are going to make roughly 7p with round trip losses per kilowatt hour by exporting the power rather than using it in your own battery. Now, I think this has actually killed some Octopus deals for solar customers. For example, Flux did look like a really promising deal. You could have several different rates during the day, import and export, and you could export for a profit. But this means that you're not going to be paying those high import costs, especially if you're an EV driver. Solar only customers, obviously, is different, but EV customers can get intelligent. They're going to be charging EV batteries. They need the extra import to charge their car batteries, and the higher peak power and the higher off-peak power of flux means that for if you're a battery, solar, and EV customer, intelligent is definitely the best deal. But what about Go? Why doesn't apply to Go? Now, before we get into explaining why not Go, if you are on Go and you can move to Intelligent, then you should do it now. Intelligent is by far the best, cheapest deal for all customers who can get Intelligent. That is a no-brainer. It's 7.5p. Off-peak, it's usually five hours minimum, but it could be a lot more extra hours. So see that video that I've done top right to explain how intelligent works it's quite a complex deal but it is a lot a lot cheaper also if you've got solar and battery it's now with this 15p export a no-brainer so go customers why isn't it available to you well to put, basically put it octopus go was octopus's first time of developing the intelligent tariff in the background so the idea of go was to work out how much load shift demand ev customers could do now it worked great in the very early days which was very early days you could basically always rely on the power being really cheap between half 12 and half four and the higher the higher peak hour of go means that most ev customers were off put charging there they all charged off peak and it was great the power systems changed the way the power grids work since the russia crisis completely changed and those half 12 to half four hours aren't always the cheapest power in fact sometimes 
Octopus is losing an absolute fortune on Go hours. And I reckon Octopus will probably get rid of Go as a tariff eventually, as soon as they've got more cars enrolled in Intelligent, because it is definitely a loss leader for them. They're losing money on it. There's no way on earth they can make money on it. Now, why can they offer it to Intelligent customers? Well, it's simply put the way Intelligent works. Intelligent won't charge the car every time between half 11 and half five. It might start the car at 10 o'clock. It might stop the car then at half 10 and then only restart at half four. It depends how much you ask intelligent that you need for charging how many hours the car's on charge but basically intelligent will schedule it when it's cheaper for octopus to match the needs that you actually need where go is just a straight four hours every single night and that means that octopus could be buying some of the most expensive electric and missing out on the much cheaper electric that might be outside of those go hours now octopus intelligent has some other advantages over go first of all they can pick when is better for the national grid but it also means that they have two other metrics that octopus actually can play and earn money from basically lower the actual physical rate of what they're paying for the electricity now what i mean by this is there's dno events which are local to you the local distribution network operator and then there's national grid events which is controlled by the national grid so a bit like we had the octopus points last year during the winter those kind of events run all the way through the year with dnos and and, and national grid sort of stuff and that's based on if the national grid think they've got an oversupply of pa uh, supply of power they might say we're dropping the price for this given half an hour they might give it a last minute to call for action and octopus can switch all these intelligent car charges on or intelligent car apis suck that power out of the grid nice and cheap and that might be outside your cheap powers but the same is also true in the opposite effect the national grid might have a national grid emergency or there's not enough power being generated or demand is significantly higher than predicted in which case the national grid say we need you to turn a load of power off and again with intelligent they now have control of all these intelligent cars and chargers and they can switch that power off and it might only be for 20 minutes half an hour but that's enough for the grid just to get those extra power stations warmed up and extra power flowing into the grid. Now again, the same is true for your local DNO. There might be too much power going out the local network, so the local transformers can't cope. So the local DNO sends a request to Octopus, can you turn down some power in this area? They might have thousands of cars on your local DNO network and instantly turn them off. And again, there might be too much power because you might live loads, near loads of power stations. That grid in your local DNO might be getting too, you know, too much power into it so again they can ask you to all turn on and that again decreases the price for octopus so just just because you see the agile price for example 20p 15p and stuff like that you know the wholesale rate of energy energy companies then also trade off that from what they can turn off and on and they get paid for that and that then again further reduces the rate and now we come to our final point of why intelligent has it and go doesn't and that is because if you come home early 4.30 one day or maybe 5 o'clock and you plug your car in on go your car won't start till half 12 and you're happy you wake up in the morning you've had four hours charge but what you might not be aware of is when you came up my home at half four five o'clock it might have been a very windy day with lots of solar energy still being generated and octopus needed to turn that charger on because there was lots of cheap available power now when they do this on an intelligent customer who's got solar they're going to only draw some from the grid and all their solar energy, which they normally get paid 15p for, is now going to go all into their car. But if you're a Go customer and they paid you 15p, it would be going exported out to the grid when they don't want it. So you can see why Intelligent has this extra control mechanism that benefits Octopus and sucks more power on the grid. Now, if you think you can get Intelligent or you're not sure about Intelligent or you don't understand it, then check out this video here did about Octopus Intelligent. And if you're thinking of getting solar in battery soon, check out this video here that I've done with Heatable about how to install a solar system.